screen. Okay, thanks, Arya. What about others? Guys, quickly confirm me if you can hear me loud and clear and also can see my screen. Perfect. Thanks, Saloni. I can hear you. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, the session, uh, the today's session that we are going to do, that is your digital marketing orientation class where I'll be helping you all to understand how basically this industry works and how you can take the maximum advantage of digital marketing to build your career. Along with this, I'll be helping you to understand various other things. So let me just quickly help you to understand all these things that what we will be covering in the session today through the agenda of this session. Right, so not wasting much of the time, quickly discussing the agenda. So guys, in this session, I'll be helping you with introduction first, introduction about me, the organization, the IM skills, and then I'll also help you to understand about your objective, right? You guys share with me a, your introduction that what you're exactly planning to achieve with the help of digital marketing skills. Then the second and third step is something which is more important for all of you guys. Why? Because it is something where you all will be understanding that how this industry works and what will be the right way to acquire digital marketing skills how you can get the maximum growth in this industry, how you can produce the maximum result in this industry. So all these things will be a part of this second and third step. Fourth is something where we will be helping you to understand how IAM skills will be helping you to get a job and freelancing opportunity in the industry. And also, what are the aspects that are available? What are the requirements for the jobs and freelancing is there into the market? Fifth step is how artificial intelligence is impacting the industry. And then at the end, I have a surprise to all of you that definitely help you guys to go ahead and get a, like to learn digital marketing skill with the help of that surprise, right? So first, if I just talk about myself, my name is Dipanshu Jaiswal and I am head of marketing at IAM Skills, where I'll be helping you to learn about various marketing aspects in your training as well. I have about 15 years of experience in website building. And then since last 10 years, I am working with digital marketing industry, right? So when I started in digital marketing, I started with a normal digital marketing, like which is a standard digital marketing in the industry, like Google ads, Facebook, all these things. But slowly, gradually, I have grown myself into marketing automation. And also I have right now from past two, three years, I'm exploring the AI driven technologies like AI tools into digital marketing. So all these learning will be a part of my forte that I'll be teaching you throughout your journey. Along with this, I have various other, or we have various other trainers who will be helping you do with the specialized learning that they have. Right, so if someone is experienced with more than 10 years into Google ad and Facebook ads, they will be teaching you the similar technique. If somebody is having a like day-to-day -day life, like real-time practitioners in email marketing and all these things, and the person will be helping you to learn email marketing. So all these trainers have a vast experience with the current industry trade. Moving forward, guys, what organization is all about. If I just give you a brief introduction about the organization, then we started in 2015 until 2023, how we grown. Right, in definitely I'll be also helping you to understand what additional things we have added in 2024 and this year only, right? So in 2015, we have started as a like digital marketing master program with more than 10 years of experience with the trainers, with the founder. They already like promoted various other projects in the industry. They have grown their own blog or own website to millions of traffic using the digital marketing skills. And the same skills we are gonna teach you guys that how you also can start working on any business, any service and can grow the visibility of that business to millions to increase every aspect of it, whether it is a lead generation or it is a branding or it is your revenue or it is your reputation in the market, everything will be covered in the program. 2016, within just one year, we have grown to 1,000 plus professional training. So more than 1,000 professionals already did the course within just one year. 
in 2018 when i'm talking about within next two years we have expanded ourselves in more than 33 countries 2022 is the year when we rank the highest placement record by india tv and various other media partners right so if i'll just show you here then on our website you simply can see this if you just move to our website like i am skills website and there you simply can see all these things are already available where we have ranked by the various media houses for the various achievement that we have right so when i go to the media coverage in media coverage you guys will see that it is already mentioned that yes you have the statements the economics time the economics time again then the hindustan time then you have india tv all these things so we have ranked by these organizations for the various aspects our quality of the training like are the learning outcome the survey outcome i am still this top ranked one here right so when you click on this you definitely can read this particular article and you also can see that yes we have mentioned across the newspaper for the various options that we will be offering to our students right so there are various things that you can check it out at like if you want like apart from this sir i am come back here in 2022 we have ranked and similarly in 2023 we have achieved and now we are on the same track in 2024 as well in 2023 we have also launched our ai based digital marketing program which is industry's first ai based digital marketing program before 2023 nobody was offering this when ai came into the picture when chat gpt was more in talk then people were just thinking about that whether ai will change the industry or ai will take their jobs or something right at that time we have crafted a program which actually helped our student to stay in the industry and to help industry to understand that yes digital marketer with the help of ai technology can be more effective right so that is what we will be teaching you in the program itself how to use those different ai tools to actually improve and boost your productivity across the digital marketing channel Right, so that's all about us. But in 2024, we have added some really interesting things which actually make you go higher in the industry and to achieve even the higher objective in the industry. I'll come on that part later when I talk about the program. Right, but now if I'll just ask your objective, guys. So our course is done by many professionals, many students. All of them, they have a different objective. Some of them may be looking for starting a career. Some of them, maybe the person on sabbatical or maybe the housewife, they are restarting the career with some new skill, right? Maybe they have done some education in past, but after having some career gap or some career break, they just want to restart with some new skill in the industry, which can remove their gap years. So that is something digital marketing can help them. There are professionals who are already into digital marketing and now want to grow themselves because this industry keeps evolving. So the people who learned digital marketing in 2015, they are not effective anymore if they are not updating themselves. So let's say I am skills is running since 2015. So in 2015, we have trained some students. So though the students, they still can come back and learn the latest skills from us, but it is not happening in the industry with others. So what people do, they are working in digital marketing, but they want to keep themselves upgraded. So if you are the one who want to upskill themselves, or you are the one who is like in a certain career path where you feel that growth is restricted. Right, let's say one of the example I can give you. Uh, I have one of my students like is into HR. So after being into six, seven years in HR, he has no more higher profile. Higher profile means like say junior HR, then you have a senior HR, then you don't have like HR head or then you don't have like you can say human resource director, you don't have a human resource branch head kind of positions available in HR domain. So that okay. person feel like that I'm stuck. I want something which can grow me higher in terms of position, in terms of package, everything. So yes, digital marketing is something which can certainly help you to grow your career with some adding a new skills into your resume or into your profile. So there are various industries where the growth is stuck, where you are the only one who is taking care of a, that particular responsibility. Then you have a business owners and entrepreneurs who want to definitely grow their own business and freelancer and passive income people like who just want to add something extra into their current source of income. Along with this, there are certain people who just want to work on their convenient time availability. So freelancing is the best option. So let's say if I want to work as a freelancer, I don't have a nine to five committed hours. 
I want to work, let's say, in evening, four hours, in morning, four hours, in between afternoon. I don't want to work. I want to relax, like whatever. So if you have something like flexibility is requirement, in most of the cases, sometimes that uh, newly parents, right, some like you can say, uh, they just want to take out the time apart from the busy time and they can work upon it. So freelancing is a great option for those people. So you have all these things available throughout your journey. So I just want to know from all of you guys, which one are you? Can you please write me in the chat box? Kindly make it to everyone. I can see right now people are directly messaging me, but some people, yes, they have done this uh, to all of us. So guys, please reply in the chat box, which one are you? Are you a student who want to build a career? Or you are a professional looking to grow, you are a housewife, want to restart the career, or on a sabbatical, want to restart the career, or you are a marketing professional already, business owner, or you are a freelancer or passive income, looking for passive income. Okay, so I have a few, few replies. Mehek is saying, is it offline course? I think offline is better learning. Mehek, you definitely are thinking because of the previous education system. But right now, if I'm talking about live online classes, it is no replacement of it. Why? Because here we can give you the best industry leaders at one place. You don't have to like just compromise with the learning, right? So why I'm saying this? Because let's say if I ask you a question, if you are getting a very good expert from Bangalore teaching you email marketing, or you are getting someone at your location who is available only for that skill, right? So if a person, let's say when I'm talking about hiring criteria, when we put our hiring criteria for the trainers, what we see in them, we see in them that person should be expert, no matter from where they are. But when we have an offline, let's say if we use an offline training, then our criteria will be changed. Our criteria will not be to hire an expert among those 10 people whom we shortlisted. Our criteria will be to hire someone who is from the nearest location who can come and teach at our center. So if even we are founding something better who is ready to teach from Bangalore, we don't hire that person. Why? Because that is a restriction. We cannot have that person offline center. We have to hire someone from our Delhi, from Pune, from Mumbai, whatever the location you are. At that center, we have to hire the people from that location only. Right? So, and yes, it is also the cost saving. So, actually the offline trainings are cost saving. Cost saving in terms of institute. But as a student, you have to pay more for those classrooms. But when I'm talking about offline training, then offline training, there is a one trainer will be teaching you everything. The same trainer will teach you social media. The same trainer will teach you email marketing. The same trainer will teach you rest of the other things. But here, you will be learning the things by different trainers. So every trainer is an industry expert with more than 10, 15 years experience, and they will be charging per hour basis, which is a very high cost for accumulatively for the complete training. If 10 teachers are teaching you, if five, five teachers are teaching you, then all five teachers will be, like institute will be paying extra to them. But when I'm talking about offline classes, there you just have one trainer, and that will be something you will be interacting with. But then how can one-to-one -one interaction is possible? So right now you are interacting with me one-to-one. -one. You are asking me question, I am answering you, right? Or even I am asking the question, you all have replied. And I can see that someone is asking me for a English option, but English option we don't have. This is the only language we use, which is English. Yes, you have the option to ask your question in Hindi. Trainer understand Hindi, right? So you can ask your question in Hindi, but trainer will respond in English. Because our students is not only from Delhi or Mumbai or Bangalore. They are from across the world. The people sitting next with you, they are from, let's say, from Australia, from USA, from Canada, from other countries as well, like Gulf countries, and then Singapore, Middle East, South Asia. All these are participating in our program. Right? Okay, so I have an option, like uh, someone said, Shubham, okay, Sakshi is saying she's a student want to make a career. Arya is saying entrepreneur. Mehak is saying restart the career. Shalini is saying student's mother. Okay. Roland is saying I am on my sabbatical and want to grow my business towards online mandate. Okay. Roland. I guess Roland is 
uh, which location are you from if you can mention or you guys can also mention your location which location are you from art and entertainment then uh, like restart the career saloni is saying she is a student want to build a career manbir is saying business consultant want to build a marketing agency and future trainer that's great i am a student manish is saying who want to start from scratch mr salvi is saying switch my career path kavisha is saying i am looking for offline course as well with hands on experience on different tools and technology all the jobs demand okay. hands on experience nowadays not just theoretical knowledge i understand but then how can one to one interaction is possible bangalore restart restarting my career from yukta is saying solen is saying i am in greece my base is in switzerland so see solen is from greece he is joining with us in this session so definitely we have more people available in this session which are who are from not from india they are from outside yes, exactly. india so we cannot keep it english we have to keep it in english only as a language so shalini is from delhi sakshi is from west bengal perfect so welcome everyone and i understand now that you all have a different objective some people wants to become entrepreneur some people are already entrepreneur and business owner and people are here to start a career and to restart a career as well okay okay so guys there is one question i have from kavisha and mehak they both have a same concern i guess regarding the offline thing so i have already shared with you guys that in offline you have these two disadvantages one of them as i shared you have to interact with your local trainers you don't have something and the criteria of hiring is different totally different you yourself think as a institute owner you think it like if you want to run a classroom center then what will be the biggest challenge is to finding the right trainer for your institute or if let's say i am from delhi only if i have to hire all the trainer from delhi the email marketing trainer from delhi then your social media trainer from delhi might be i am getting a one or two trainers are very good which are from delhi but all the trainers are from delhi are very good that i am hiring is not for sure right so what we have to do we take the interviews not based on location but based on the expertise if we are finding yes that particular trainer who is from mumbai has a better understanding and knowledge and better teaching style of google advertisement or google ads then the person who is from delhi then we don't hire the delhi person we hire from mumbai despite we are having our office in delhi we don't hire the person from delhi why because the quality matters and i hope for all of you the quality as also it is something which really matters right now some of the people you are saying that the interaction will be with the trainer okay so i am giving you one example let's say there is one person in your area right or maybe in your circle who has a limited yeah. knowledge let's say 70% of knowledge another person has a 100% knowledge of a subject or let's say 90% i am not saying 100 let's say some person has a 60% knowledge other person has a 90% knowledge whom would you like to interact more the person with 60% knowledge or the person with 90% knowledge which one you would like to interact right but right now you are saying that it doesn't matter the person has a 90% kind of experience or knowledge the person have a 60% but he is interacting with me daily i am okay with that so it is not okay because at the end offline and online nothing matters when you give your interviews when you go to the job when you prepare your resume even the interviewer never read about which institute you have done the training they never read about you have done it through classroom or you have done it through online they just read about or just check about your practical knowledge so if your question is practical knowledge then i can talk further about the offline thing otherwise there is a no point of discussing the online and offline because practical knowledge is something what i am going to discuss in my training and practical knowledge is something what we are going to provide throughout the 6 months of your training but that is institutes look look out to hire best trainers for offline location it is practically not possible it is practically not possible that if i open my center across india at every location i will find the best trainers that is is unlikely right this is very unlikely if i open in delhi if i open in mumbai if i open in bangalore if i open in 
लखनऊ जयपुर और एवरी लोकेशन इन एवरी लोकेशन आई डोंट फाइंड एक्सपर्ट ट्रेनर इन दैट लोकेशन इवन राइट नाउ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इज लाइक यू कैन से एट एवरी स्ट्रीट कॉर्नर दे आर अवेलेबल even in your location you found 10 12 different digital marketing institute and they themselves don't know about digital marketing right how i can say they themselves don't know about it i give you a very fair comparison on this right if you just would like to share see here i have one tool available which is called as a let's say uber suggest this uber suggest tool is something which can tell you what kind of digital marketing people are doing in the industry right they can tell you what kind of traffic they have on their website so i am searching here iamskills.com click on next right let's say i say beginner generate more lead i just say anything here i just have to create my account right so right so similarly guys you also can make your account over here and can see right so now i'm just logging into this particular tool this is one of the tool guys uber suggest it basically help you to identify what kind of traffic a particular website will have and like how many people are visiting that website on daily basis on monthly basis all these things you can see here so you just do one thing just put my company's name here which is your iamskills.com right and check about this location you can put let's say india or any location you can put it here let's say i'm putting india can you see here website name is i am skills organic traffic this is a monthly traffic site performance of last month can you see this 1.4 million that means 14 lakh people visiting my website every month so i am a digital marketing training company who teach people digital marketing and that kind of effectiveness i have in my digital marketing my own digital marketing that i can bring 14 lakh people on my website right uh, you just name any company you just name any company here if anybody wants to name any company that you want me to check here and give you a comparison over here then i believe i can definitely help you with this or you yourself can do it you yourself self can do this step to find out what kind of traffic a particular website is getting right so let's say i have given here i am skills.com and i search for this and i can found it this is 1.4 million of traffic every month we are receiving on our website and you just name any other website i can put it here and you will see the difference you said it's pino chemicals this is your own website for the business you have to give me the name of the website guys you have to give me the name of the your website i guess this might be having the traffic or no we have to find it out you have to give me the url okay freelanceacademy.com you have given me this
it is i guess it is not available it is processing it will take some time to show the results guys so meanwhile i can talk about the other things but everybody who join and learn digital marketing have a different goals and maybe if a person might be good in social media marketing and other in seo so on online mode how do you evaluate yeah definitely i can evaluate all these things so guys think like a business owner don't think like a student or don't don't think like a you can say employee think like a business owner if i am a business owner if i am running a business even of a teaching business if i of a education business what will be my goal my goal is to have maximum students at my website maximum customer on my website people do social media people do email marketing people do youtube people do everything why they do it they do it to get the customers on their website but at the end if you are doing a social media and you are not getting the customers on your website does it make any sense you are growing your instagram but your business is not growing does it make sense anyone so if you are using a social media use it wisely getting your followers on social media that doesn't make you rich that doesn't make any business successful what makes a business successful is if their organic traffic is growing if their company's traffic is growing if revenue is growing if the people coming on their website like or is like their target audience is coming on their website the whole objective of doing a social media sending the email marketing campaigns running the seo strategy running the google ads all these things every company just do it for one purpose to increase their clients to increase their customers and how the customer will increase if they are not even knowing about your services not coming on your website not checking about your product and services not even buying your product does your business grow you will say growth of a business or no it is not a growth of a business basically right or you can check any any keyword let's say i am searching for digital marketing courses in bangalore right you see the first ranking is i am skill on organic if i am running you see the first ranking is here i am skill you search any keyword you go to youtube you search on youtube like digital marketing courses in delhi we are ranking the number one there as well our content is ranking there the number one right so all these things are basically which makes us proud on our learning and our implementation and the same thing we teach to our student that how they can get rank their content on the google first page and many people did this within the training we have various students who within the training they have ranked their website on the first page of google right they are running the businesses they are doing their services and they able to rank themselves with their keywords on the google first page people able to make their website if you want i can show it to you guys i today received reply from people let's say i can show you over here this is assignment done by one of my student you can simply see finally i made my first website is very beautiful experience for me first i thought that is very difficult to make website but after taking your wordpress website classes my mind was changed wordpress session helped me a lot in my first website creation my website is basically a cooking classes website where i prepared four pages that is home about schedule and contact and all this thing and they have shared with me this particular screenshot of the website that how it looks right so similarly you have a various assignments available see one of the student created this website so people do it practically we are not just teaching you the theoretical things 
they learned to create something like this they started and created this she is also a student from outside india right so people do it there are various other students who have also shared with me about their experience that they have done with the training what the practical experience they have done within the course <clears throat> so you can find it out over the different like different trainers have received the different kind of reply from their students how about internship job and placement so definitely we also help you with all these things how if i'll just show you see we have our course structure is something is like this if you just go to our all courses then here you have a digital marketing master course available in your master course uh, like program when you click on this then you have this options available where you have three different courses first one will be your digital marketing expert second one is your digital marketing master certification plus ai and the third one digital marketing leadership program to grow any business guys first you need to understand what we are covering in expert in expert we are covering all these things where you have a seo first is fundamental then you have a wordpress website how to create your own website or a platform then you have your seo then you have your google ads social media social media organic then email marketing content writing and copywriting video editing graphic designing automation and your interview preparation these steps are there in your digital marketing expert program now let me just quickly help you to understand what all things will be taking care of here so if i just ask you one simple question guys let's say you all are working for a business once you become digital marketer what you do anyone knows this once you become digital marketer what you guys will do what will be your job responsibility write down in the chat box quickly guys quickly reply in the chat box what you are thinking what will be your job as a digital marketer speak over it rolan is saying i will work on generating business traffic marketing for that particular company online promote my product bring in leads generate uh, getting leads online product and service knowledge website reach social media management lead generation okay <clears throat> of course conversions of course so let's say i have a different reply from people because they have a, all people have a different understanding about what their job profile will be can work as a brand strategist device uh, like devising strategies for a particular brand creating content a plus content social media marketing right so you all have the different aspect of digital marketing that you understood right now that that is going to be your job but when i am talking about what industry needs right now you all have your own things what you feel that digital marketer will do but why people hire why business is hire digital marketer business hire digital marketer for four different reasons and the one of the major reason is lead generation and customer acquisition right after this what will be the second most is the brand awareness and visibility what will be the third after this to increase revenue of their organization through like increasing the campaigns of revenue generation <clears throat> and the fourth one will be online reputation management right so these are the four basically biggest objective that any organization hire digital marketer so if i'll give you one very fair example and the example is so easy you all can even guess it very like you all can understand this very clearly let's say if you have a 100 lead or 100 customer you join some company as a digital marketer in that company there are 100 leads they are generating and out of 100 leads they are converting how much they are converting they are converting out of 100 leads they are converting 10 sales right 
to generate their business, what do you need to do, guys? If I want that company to produce 200 sales, what I have to do? Simply, guys. Anyone? Guess quickly in the chat box. More leads. Of course, that's one of the aspects. What else? Roland is saying more leads. Mahek is saying marketing. Yes, marketing definitely. We hired for marketing only. But what you do to increase their sales, to make it from 10, 10 sales to 200 sales. No idea. All the people who can guess, they simply guess. All the people who even cannot guess, they simply write, no idea. Angida saying get at least 2,000 leads. Right? They already have logo and everything. They have a website. That's why they are generating 100 leads and creating 10 customers. Okay, logo, website, okay, good content, visibility. Yes, that is needed. You need to increase your efforts in reaching more people, increase online visibility. Right. So if I add one more metric here, let's say 1,000 people coming on my website, 1,000 visitors coming on my website, out of them, 100 leads will be generated and then 10 sales will be generated. And now I have to make it 200 sales. So what I have to do? I have to, first thing I have to generate, let's say, 20,000 visitors, right? If I'm generating 20,000 visitors, then I'll be definitely converting 2,000 leads. And out of 2,000 leads, I'll be converting 200 sales. This is just a simple math, right? It is very simple math. Yet or, yes or no? If only 1,000 people are coming on my website, I only have an opportunity to convert 100 leads. And out of 100 leads, I only can convert 10 sales. Right? I believe all of you can understand this really easy math. Quickly, yes or no, in the chat box. But when I say, here, I just applied. See, Manbir, you are getting these visitors through digital marketing, right? Right now you have a hundred website, thousand website visitors. Maybe they are coming somehow with different sources. You send emailers, but you don't have a proper plan of action. But if you hired a digital marketer, that person will help you first to grow your visitors on the website so that you can generate more number of leads and at the end you can convert more number of sales, right? That is the first thing they do, right? But here is one catch. Here, I only applied lead generation and customer acquisition. Right? And now it's turned to multiply. Digital marketers are not in the company to just do this simple math. Digital marketers are here to even do this math, multiply. How they do it? Let's say right now, only 1,000 visitors coming on my website, 100 leads I am generating and 10 sales I am making. Now I increase the leads. Now I made it 2,000 visitors, right? And I have generated 200 leads out of it and then generate 20 sales if I am just multiplying the leads. But if I am just multiplying my brand awareness, if I am reaching or my increasing the brand value in the market, brand awareness in the market, brand visibility in the market, then what will happen? Okay, again giving you very layman example. There are two companies. One is Adidas Shoes. Second company is ABC Shoes. And ABC Shoes is generating 100 leads and doing the 10 sales. So if Adidas is generating 100 leads, will they do the same number of sales or will they have a more sales? What do you think? In the same number of leads, in the same number of visitors, who will do more sales? 
एडिडास और एबीसी राइट वाई बिकॉज पीपल आर अवेयर अबाउट दिस ब्रांड पीपल आर मोर अवेयर अबाउट दिस ब्रांड दे हैव ऑलरेडी अवेयर अबाउट द फीडबैक ऑफ दैट ब्रांड द वैल्यू आउटकम ऑफ दैट ब्रांड पीपल आर अवेयर अबाउट दीज थिंग्स सो दे आर कन्वर्जन रेट सो हेयर इज द मैटर ऑफ टेन परसेंट कन्वर्जन सो इफ आई जस्ट गो विद द सेम सिचुएशन विद द टेन परसेंट ऑफ कन्वर्जन राइट If I'll go with the same conversion, then I'll generate 20 sales. But if I just increase my conversion to 15%, then what will happen? Out of 2,000 visitors, I'll be able to generate if I increase the visitor to leads or lead to sale. There are two types of conversion. So to increase this conversion, we have to work on our website. We have to work on the call to action of our website the layout of the website the offering of the website all these things and then we can generate convert more number of people out of every thousand visitors right so if we work on the conversion of both of the things with the help of our brand awareness campaign people are knowing more some people come on abc.com and they see oh they never heard about this they interacted with their social media ads but they heard they visited their website and they see we never heard about this company so they don't fill up the form there but yes if your brand awareness is more if your brand engagement is better then what happens then out of visitors 2000 15% visitors is filling up the website so you are generating see at the place of 200 you will generate 300 leads and same if 15% of conversion from lead to sales is also increased then you will generate 45 k right so the math is 1000 visitors can generate 10 sales but when i work on my lead generation my brand awareness on both the aspect together then i can multiply it i can work like 2000 visitors 300 leads and 45 sales so it's approximately four times my business grown right now to reach at 200 sales i don't need 20000 visitors i can reach far quickly into it how let's say now i run the revenue generation campaign also right so let's say somebody came on my website for an example 2000 people came on my website 300 people inquire for my product they given me their information and 45 people purchase my product but what about the remaining what about the remaining 255 leads are they waste what do you think are they waste or no anybody yes or no in the chat box no what i can do with them i can align them into my funnel i can create a funnel where i actually can target these leads if it if you see this 255 as a number it is very less but if you see it a daily number So let's say every day I have a 255 people who are not purchasing my product. So in one month, there will be 7,650, and in one year, there will be about 93,000 people. If this 93,000 people, I just get very minimal. Let's say only 10% conversion out of it. Then I'll generate approximately, let's say. if i just get a 10% out of it then i will be able to generate 765 sales right so that is something which is again a huge number right that is that could be your nurture these leads and how you will nurture these leads with the help of your revenue generation campaign how you run those revenue generation cam campaign if you are looking at your instagram guys when you are scrolling your instagram you see some type of advertisement are there which you have already seen before the product you have seen before so let's say i am searching for some shoes of adidas when i come back on my instagram then i'll see the similar shoes advertisement i was searching for a trip to dubai when i come on my instagram when i open my youtube when i like open anything then there are certain offers are running for the similar products that get a dubai tours at this price all the activities covered all these things will be visible i only see the similar things which i am searching for 
Does this happen to you or no? Quickly, yes or no in the chat box. Right, it happens. Why it happens? Because of people are targeting you. They know that you are the potential customer. They want to increase the possibility of generating revenue out of you. Right, they want to target you for because they are aware that you are someone who is actually looking for the same product and same services. So they want to keep on targeting you over the Instagram, over the display advertisement on Google. When you are reading some blog in the right side or left side of the blog, you will see the similar type of advertisement. So all these things are happening to these campaigns. You purchase something, you let's say visit your Amazon.com. Over Amazon, you purchased one product. Right, let's say not purchased, you are purchasing some product and you left the product into the cart. Do you receive an email that you have this product left in the cart? Purchase it today, otherwise it will be out of stock. Right, it is quickly sailing out, complete your purchase. You will receive these kind of emails or no? Right, similarly, let's say I have these 45 people I converted. I converted this 45 sales. But can I generate more revenue out of these people? Yes or no? Let's say I sold them a printer. 45 people purchased a printer from Amazon. What Amazon can do to generate more revenue from these 45 people? Amazon can send me an email after 30 days, purchase cartridges and A4 sheets, which are required for printer. Right, if I am using a printer, I may need the sheet. I may need the cartridges. So they offer me those cartridges, A4 sheet, right, to make me purchase again, to retarget me for increasing or upselling me the different products or the relevant products. So with the same number of visitors, with the same number of sales, I'm just increasing my business. So what it does, it increases the further possibility. So let's say along with this, if I am generating now 4,000 visitors and in 4,000 visitors, I have a 20% of conversion rate, right? So let's say I'll be generating approximately 800 leads and out of these 800 leads, if I have a 20% conversion again, 160 sales I am generating, right? With the average of 20% conversion. So guys, this is how digital marketing works. It doesn't work single-handedly. It works in groups. It works with like all aspects together. So if some company is only investing the money into leads, so they definitely increase their sales, but with very slow rate. However, if they work on the different aspects, they can multiply their business. So similar way, if you're working on your online reputation management, then you have a referral as well. You have people referring you for the different modes, right? They, your business is not decreasing any time. Why? Because you always taking care of your reputation and your dam damage in the industry. Have you ever experienced that when someone, some celebrity or any particular person or any politician, any celebrity, any company like Zomato, Swiggy, all these companies, when they unable to deliver their promise, Right, or when some celebrity took some, like let's say did some wrong uh, actions on the internet in front of media or something. Then after happening these things, immediately their placement, or sorry, immediately their ORM cell, immediately their ORM team, they get activated. You will frequently think about their good deeds, their good actions, all these things. Right, they will be taking care of their customer uh, like on writing it, like we will be resolving your task, like particular problem or issue. Like let's say if your order got laid on Zomato, then you write about Zomato, then what Zomato will do? Zomato immediately offer you the solution. Why? Because millions of people are watching them across the internet. So if you, they don't give you the solution, solution, their reputation is gonna harm or they cannot bear the damage in reputation or any big company, any good company, they don't want to lose the business because of the reputation. So yes, PR, PR is something which online reputation management related things take. 
like take care of all these people which I'm talking about, right? So this is required. This is required because even Apple people write about it that yes, my phone is getting hanged. iPhone 14 has a hang problem. But Apple is something who is clarifying to people that yes, it doesn't have any issues like this. If they have come to us, we mm -hmm. will replace your phone, right? So they have that kind of ORM management happening across the industry and that's why they are good. So similar way, online reputation is also equally important if you don't want your business to be damaged and go down. So if you only want to multiply upwards, you have to do first three things, lead generation, brand awareness, revenue generation, and to avoid any pitfalls, you have to work with ORM as well, right? So this is something required. Could you also talk about performance marketing and what is new now in 2025? Right now it is 2024. So I can talk about what is there new in 2024. What will be there in the future? Right now I cannot surely say yes. So, but definitely whatever will be there, we are here to help you out in those scenarios as well. Right? Because our training structure is something like this area. We give you a lifetime access. So the people who learned in 2015, we have started this digital marketing course in 2015. So the student who joined us in 2015, they only learned about, let's say, Facebook ads. Instagram is not that active at that time in terms of promotions and so, right? They learned about various Google ads techniques, but it is something keeps on changing. So in 2024, we have added really new things into our program. So that is advantage for those people. They still can log in in their account and can check all the latest things we are teaching. They can get the recorded classes. Plus, they also can ask us or request us to re-attend the live class in 2024 with latest skills or latest learning we are teaching. Right, same for you. So if you join us today in 2024, we teach you all the latest things which is required in the industry today. But also, we will be updating you in future. So in 2025, in 2030, whatever things will be there, you immediately can log in into your account and can request for the latest session videos and update yourself, right? Coming on that part, performance marketing, the term you are using here. So basically guys, you need to understand what basically performance marketing is. Performance marketing in most of the companies or not most of the companies, usually most of the agencies. Performance marketing word comes through digital marketing agencies. So when digital marketing agency is hiring the digital marketers, they hire someone who can do initially everything like social media, they can run the Google ads, they can do the organic marketing and all those things, right? But some agencies did differently. They created a different department. They did like, uh, there is someone who is only taking care of a ad, right? Someone who is only taking care of a Google ads and Facebook ads, who is just using the money to run the ads. So they created a team of those people and they started calling them performance marketers. Why they are performance marketers? Because they are someone who is enhancing the performance with the investment through the ad. So what performance marketer basically do, performance marketer work over the paid advertisement, right? Who can bring the performance out of given investment, right? So performance marketing, the term is the person who is able to do paid advertisement and optimize the paid advertisement for maximum performance, for enhancing the performance, right? So if you are aware, if you know the Google ads very well, if you know the Facebook ads very well, then you easily can go ahead and can apply for the performance marketing jobs and you will be selected because they want someone who can take care of paid advertisement of their platform. But usually in the companies, if you're joining some startup, if you're joining some mid-level company, if you're joining even a, some company who is, has a complete team of digital marketers, their performance marketer, uh, like the profile is quite, you can say, combined with various other skills. So there you don't have to only run ads, you have to take care of other things as well. But in agencies, if you are working, then you would definitely have a only particular role you are have a 10 clients, 10 different clients, and you are managing their ad account, right? You are increasing the performance, improving the performance for them, keep optimizing their Google ad budget, keep optimizing their Google ad performance, their Facebook ad performance. So that is how performance marketers are required for majorly in agencies. But when you're talking about companies and all, 
they want to hire someone who has with skill set they don't hire someone who is just only can do one thing they want to hire people with some skill set so if i am hiring a google ad expert then i want person should also aware about seo should also know the email marketing stuff why because they also can create emailers they also can create the funnels they also can create the like flow of the email or conversation that going to my audience so if somebody came on my website through google ads so what should email communication go to that person and what kind of like you can say like nurturing convert conver nurturing related, related flow needs to be created that first they receive this email second they receive this email so that kind of flow needs to be created right so if a uh, company is hiring they look for skill set and if some agencies are hiring they look for particularly one skill set to it that is a major difference now arya is again asking sir you mentioned that about i am made a course on ai yes coming on this part so when i am talking about this part in this course we are covering seo it help you to generate leads right so now one last thing i am covering here then i'll be moving to the program so you just understand this thing really important so first i want to know from all of you is this clear to all of you what are the different types of jobs available in the market because every business wants to multiply do you think is there any business who don't want to multiply there is no business who don't want to multiply every business wants to get multiply so what they want they want to apply all these things right so if you are someone who can generate leads if you are someone who can do brand awareness if you are someone who can work on revenue generation and if you are someone who can work on the orm and trust me if you just do this conversation in your interview your interview will be cracked is any business person here or any entrepreneur here in the particular session quickly yes or no if anybody is here say yes arya is business owner mandir is business owner okay perfect roller is business owner perfect so guys i am just asking you one simple question if i come to your company as a digital marketer and if i'll show you this map that sir we have to work on these areas and by working on these area we can multiply like this and i can do it for you will you hire me or no right you hire me so same way you guys have to think if you capable of doing this and if you make able to make people understand this then people will love to hire you because everybody wants to generate if they are only have a thousand visitor on their website and they are generating 10 sales and you are helping them to increase 2000 visitor which is just a double number but in terms of sales you are helping them to multiply by four or even more than four 4.5 so they will really love to have that kind of a digital marketer in their company and that is something not it is not like this is not possible it is easily possible you just have to work on the different aspects of digital marketing right same with your client so if you are working as a freelancer you have to give this results to your client you have to talk about this to your client and your client will get converted easily right but first you need to understand how you do this so when i'm talking about lead generation and customer acquisition you use the platform like scm which is called as a search engine marketing so search engine marketing which is called also known as very widely google ad so it is something which people look for to increase the leads to generate the leads how it happens let me just show you here oh i close this academy one you guys can do it at your own like while you searching for uber suggest one right but right now i'm just showing you let's say i am someone who is fat i have a lot of weight with me i want to lose the weight so what should i do i am not aware of it so what i'll do i'll just simply write how to lose weight or i can write let's say i don't want to do any exercise or something so what i'll search for weight loss let's say i i want some medicines which can help me to reduce weight so i'm searching for weight loss medicine so when i'm searching for a weight loss medicine simply then i'll get some various type of advertisements or results available here 
so when you see these results which are sponsored so what do you mind mean by sponsored guys how many of you know what is sponsored means sponsored simply means paid ads right so wherever you see sponsored that means these companies are paying to the platform they are paying to google to get their ranking on the top after this you will see these type of result where you don't see any sponsored return so what are basically these these are the results which are coming organically organically means no price paid you are not paying anything to google right so it's also called as a organic result right so one of them is sponsored result another one is organic result here you are paying to the platform here you are nothing paying to any platform so when you will be searching all these things coming later than if even below you will see some more options available sponsored again and this is again sponsored right so this is again a advertisement so now all these customers what they are doing i am just want to lose the weight i am searching for weight loss medicines so when i am searching for weight weight loss medicines so why these people are running ads because they want me to sell their product or they want to capture me as their lead as their customer right so that is one of the way they are trying to generate a lead what is the second way these companies they are not running any ad but they still they are ranking so they are doing their seo which is called as a search engine optimization which is again seo right so it helps you to rank on the google top searches without paying to google and what is the opportunity here to see this opportunity i am just going to my google chrome extension and here i'll search for a term called uber suggest the same extension which we have talked about right this one so when you search for this one you will see this name here uber suggest seo and keyword discovery click on add to chrome once you add to chrome click on add extension once you do this process once you do this process then you come back here and refresh the page now you can see this bar available here which is showing you weight loss medicine it is one of the keyword which is people searching on the internet along with this people are also searching for these different keywords and on this keyword there is a 18100 volume which is like 18000 people are searching for this and cpc cpc means cost per click how many how much google is charging for one click so if i click any ad here then google will deduct 13 rupees from their account for one click right so let's say now i am comparing it with this website so right now this website has how much traffic 1 lakh 2875 visitors 1 lakh 2875 visitors coming on this website without paying anything to google so guys if you are a business owner just think like a owner of a business if you are getting 1 lakh 2000 people on your website without paying anything to google from google is it a great thing or no quickly yes or no right it is a great thing but when i say if you are someone who is not focusing on seo you are thinking 
I am good at ads. I can run my business on ads to get one lakh two thousand people through ads for every click. Google is charging you thirteen rupees, which is twelve rupees ninety eight paisa. To fetch one lakh two thousand people, you have to invest thirteen lakh thirty seven thousand rupees. So thirteen lakh thirty seven thousand rupees. You have to invest, right? It's INR. It's Indian rupees, guys. I'm talking about. So people outside India, they can just simply do it to USD, and they can find you sixteen thousand. You will be saving sixteen thousand US dollar on your marketing by focusing on SEO. So what you can do with this thirteen lakh rupees? Do you think you can multiply your company with this thirteen lakh rupees? If you are saving this with the help of SEO, you can reduce your product cost as per the competition. You can also help organization to grow faster. Let's say I am doing the Google Ads as well. I can invest more on my branding because I am generating the leads with SEO, right? So I am generating the number of leads with SEO. So I have a various budget available with me. to invest on my marketing invest my invest on my branding right on my social media on everything i can grow multiply i can do my marketing or i can multiply my marketing effort by saving my marketing burn over the google ads right so i am not saying that you should not do the google ads google ads and seo they go hand in hand so if i am getting some customer through google ads then yes that is great i have a different roi of it but if i don't have any much you can say investment on seo i am doing it myself and i am getting on the higher rank of google and i am generating one lakh plus people on my website to seo they can bring me the customers without investing the money it is even a great thing it can multiply my business with a higher rate with a higher percentage of rate right so these are the basically platform through which people generate lead also the social media so if you are using uh, like social media instagram facebook there you will also find that people are running the advertisement that purchase the tours purchase this product purchase that product and they ask you your information there that put your email id to register for this right so these kind of social media activity will be there where people try to capture your lead detail people try to capture your information and you become a lead for them right so these are three major aspects for generating leads similarly for branding for branding also there is a psychology behind brand awareness and visibility and what is the psychology guys i hope you all are aware about it that is your memory psychology right people can more remember the things which they frequently say which they frequently see and which is in their subconscious mind right so let's say if i ask you one question if you have to purchase a shoes which particular shoes brand you like to purchase quickly in the chat box okay people said nike known brands nike nike puma okay more people more replies quickly guys adidas more replies other people also now i am giving you one more option think about a brand in your mind and write down the name here think about any brand any brand don't shoes not only shoes think about any brand and write it here or any company in your mind right so guys when you are writing all these things when you are writing nike nike puma adidas reebok big break campus zara right h&m mango glenfiddich gucci so all these companies name when you are talking about these companies will you be able to visualize their logo will that logo appears in your mind pop ups in your mind or no
okay you cannot visualize their logo immediately manbeet and art and entertainment understood but when i'm talking about when we say any brand when i have a name of adidas in my mind then i have a three stripes in my mind when i'm talking about nike i have a that check sign of nike in my mind right i easily can relate with all these thing i easily can recognize or can relevant with that but that particular icon in my mind right or maybe most of us able to do this certain brands yes yes so what they basically do they use a psychology which is we called as a memory psychology where what happens i hope you all are aware about it that whatever we listen whatever we listen guys we can remember it for a shorter term whatever we read that has a bit longer storage or you can say we can store those memories for a longer period but whatever we see or whatever we can visualize that has a longest span of memorization or you can say you can memorize those things for the longest time so brand use the platform which can show them which can show their image and videos where they can represent themselves where they can connect people emotionally right so let's say there is a advertisement of dairy milk i hope most of you have seen this that it is the like first day of month and i have to bring dairy milk at my home this is a celery day bring something sweet at your home right so you have this kind of advertisement see on the internet done by dairy milk pehli tarikh meetha le jana right this kind of advertise but in hindi if i am talking about right and yes there are certain brands who create the things emotionally mothers day advertisement of dairy milk again right so give your mother a warm hug with the dairy milk so this is kind of emotions they create right there people there they visualize people about their company about their brand about their logo about their product and they connect with people with one emotion that all people can try to do it at the same time all the people get really emotional with all those thing and they try to bring and many people bring like dairy milk at home on the mother's day they have highest sales on mother day after this campaign why because they emotionally touch people to give this dairy milk to your mother right so this is how it works see you are at any age but if it is something related to your mother you definitely get emotional and you try to bring that on table which can just give them happiness right so they create something like this to create happiness for the mothers give them dairy milk right so people even at any age they are bringing this and giving that's why they have a higher sales on mothers day right so similar many brand did this over the different occasions over the different periods of time amazon always have a sales going on because they is excite people who are online shoppers right so what is the uh, like thing i am try to communicate you here that brand awareness and visibility usually done on the platform which are supporting the images and video where they can capture the subconscious mind of their audience and stay there for a longer period how they stay there for a longer period by creating those kind of impressive content and after building that content what they do they use the different platform to circulate it so one of them is social media marketing where they use most of the time like fb insta fb insta your snapchat right then you also have a various other platform like uh linkedin and all right people do it lead generation for people also use linkedin so i just written here smm so there are all the platforms are available yes youtube is also there apart from this another type of platform they use which is called as a search engine but over the search engine marketing in search engine marketing or in google ads we cover one type of ad which can help you to do this when you are talking about this normal google ads when i'm searching for weight loss medicine then there you don't have anything to like pe- remember people about the brand or something right 
but when i see a different type of advertisement that is something let's say i am reading some article on times of india i am opening a website times of india dot india times dot com this one when i am reading this article let's say red alert in mumbai so this is the article i am reading so while i am reading this article you will see there will be advertisement shown on right and left and on the, even on the top bar right where people just try to target me for their product and they just try to remember me about their information so here is one of the ad you see this is sky scanner i was searching actually for some flight last night yesterday at my home i was searching for some flight so yes sky scanner is something which is showing me their advertisement here to target me as a potential customer or to show me their advertisement here now you have a sony smart car receivers right so i also search for car accessories sometimes so that's why i guess this is something i am able to see so most of the time you will see the relevant ads which you have ser searched before but sometime you will see there are companies who don't have a defined targeting they can target anyone right so sky and scanner is targeting me because i was searching for flight and yes i have also seen this sony advertisement here epson i am reading just this article red Relative. alert in mumbai because of the rain heavy rain i i don't have any plan to buy a sony or epson this projector or to book a flight but they are showing me their ads over here why just to putting in my mind their name just to putting their name in my subconscious mind so after this reading of article when i look for the flight again then i have one name in my mind that is sky scanner so that is increasing the probability that i will go on sky scanner and search for the flight right so it is just an opportunity these people are creating with the help of brand awareness and running this brand market remarketing campaign right so, and this is a part of your google ad this will this you will learn this is called as a display ad and these display ads you can run through google ads only so google has various type of ads two type of ads you have seen in the lead generation one of them is shopping another one is a search ad right here you have a display ad which is used for the marketing purpose you also can run the video ad right over the youtube and all you have your youtube ad along with this what extra you can do it to increase your brand visibility you can do the email marketing so let's say i told you guys initially i have let's say every day i have 265 people or 255 people so in one year in 365 days i have about 93000 people who are not purchasing my product so i can keep on reminding them about my brand with my different brand recognition campaigns where i'm sharing about the brand achievement where i'm sharing about the brand related like different events that are going on so i can just update them with the various related things that our participants got placed in this company we can send this information to our students so all those things can be happen with the help of email marketing and that is something i can create a brand awareness campaign for my audience whom i already acquired so email marketing is one of the effective way in the same way revenue generation i already created with you guys the kind of advertisement you will see which help you to actually like talking about to grow your audience uh, like grow your revenue right which is like you will receive email notifications right through email marketing it can be done through email marketing right where you are suggesting the relevant product or something then you can create a insta campaigns or facebook campaign which is over the social media then you also have a like in google the one of the advertisement we discussed the shopping one it is something for revenue generation right so it can help you to bring the leads as well and it can help you to boost your revenue as well so for an example if i am again showing you this let's say i am searching for weight loss medicines when i search for you see this brand so when i click on any of the company name let's say if i click on this company name here right can you see this company is actually 
not try to capture my information quickly. What they are actually trying to do, just as try to make me purchase this product of theirs. They're giving me a 23% discount here. And right, and the most attractive thing on this page is this price and add to cart button and this 60 tablets at 7.99, right? So similarly, you can just click on any other, let's say particular page as well, and you will see they are more focused on buy button. They are more focused on selling the product, right? So they have no intention or intentions to get my details to convert me as a lead. Their major intention is to convert me as a sale. Get discount right now. Right, so here they are asking for my email ID. So they have an intention of generating lead as well. But more than this, they have a buy it now. The biggest thing you have in, on this page is offer and buy it now, right? So they are not something they who want you to remember their company name or something. They just want you to come here, check the price, check the offer and purchase the button. Similar type of ads you will also see on Instagram. When you are going through, you will see some advertisement for t-shirts, shirts, right, apparel. Then similarly, you will see also gifting uh, accessories like buy this particular, you will see the gadget. So this gadget, just purchase it, click on this, and then you will be on the sale page where it is a sale is live, two hours remaining, purchase it. Right, so those kind of campaigns are something which make people to take quick actions or help them to go ahead and make a sale so to generate a revenue. So their major focus is to generate revenue, convert clients, not to bring the leads or something. Right, and then for ORM, what people use? Again, social media. Then you have your preview site. Then you have your Q&A platform, like Cora and all, right? So review sites, like various review sites are there. Then you have a social media, like FB, Insta, and all these things. So people use for ORM, these particular platforms. Right, so I hope all of you understood it clearly that what all are the platform and how to use them to bring the results. Can I have a quick yes or no from all of you? For lead generation, what you should apply for brand awareness, what you should do for revenue generation, what you should follow and for ORM, what you should do, right? Can I have a quick yes from all of you if you understood this particular part really better? Okay, thanks, Mahek, Ankita, Roland, Saloni, Amala, perfect. So thanks, guys. Thanks for uh, sharing your acknowledgement with me. And this is the same process through which you can generate this kind of multiply the businesses. Now, if I'm moving forward, guys, simply here on this page where I'm talking about my program. So I was saying that in this program, expert program, we cover all these things which help you to generate leads, which help you to work your strategy over branding or promotion. You also learn about how to create email marketing campaign for revenue generation and all, all these things you will learn in this. So if anyone is here who want to quickly get a job in the industry with a minimum salary package somewhere around like 3.5 to 5 lakh Indian rupees, like 4 or 5 lakh, you can say. It's nearly 4 lakh or 5 lakh kind of package if you want in the industry. Then this digital marketing expert score is this something which can help you to achieve that, which can help you to do or learn all these things, which can easily help you to get a job in the industry for the sale package. The price of this course is going to be 34,900 plus GST, which is comes to 41,000 all inclusive. The second program we have, which is Digital Marketing Master Certification plus AI. Here we will be covering everything of expert, like all these topics which are there in the expert program. And these topics are something which really helpful as I already shared with you. So lead generation and all you will learn here. But how to optimize it even more deeply in the industry with other options as well. Like for other options, let me just come on that part. How many of you heard about native advertising and OTT platform? Native advertising. How many of you heard about it? 
क्विकली यस और नो मै कमिंग ऑन द प्लेसमेंट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट नेवर हर्ड अबाउट इट एड्स ऑन ओटीटी यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट द ओटीटी प्लेटफॉर्म बट यू नॉट हर्ड अबाउट द एड्स ऑन ओटीटी दैट सम वन इज टीचिंग इन द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स राइट बट वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द बिग कंपनीज यू गाइज वॉच ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म और नो यू वॉच लेट से नेटिव इज आउट ऑफ कंट्री नो नेटिव इज नॉट आउट ऑफ कंट्री This is something which are really new addition in our program in 2024. As someone, see some people asking what you have added newly. So in 2023 we have added AI. Then most of the industry people copying us to add some AI tools. Now we have added these things. Then you will slowly, gradually see that industry will change their curriculum and they will add something out of it in their curriculum as well. But yes, early mover, we give you that. Uh, definitely some plan with some learning with a great experience why because we have already planned it we are not just copying it right so ads on odd platform is something or native advertising is something which is really in demand across the big companies if you have like how many of you watch netflix hotstar or any other platform quickly yes or no rolan is not watching maybe your audience maybe you are not getting time rolan as a business person but yes your audience must be watching it yes or no right so let's say if i am running a business i have my students here or let's say if you can say that people watching the cricket match over hotstar or over any other platform you will see the different type of advertisement are coming in between sometimes it's ads of movies Sometimes it's ads of a different type of series. Sometimes it's ads of a ICICI bank, some banking ads. Sometimes it is a term insurance related ads of some company. So you will see all these advertisements because there is a very large number of people watching the OTD platform. If you are guys not aware, then India versus Pakistan match is something which is really like highly in demand, and when it is happening on hot star on in the on the odd platform there was more than 5 crore people watching that more than 5 crore people watching that particular match so if you let's say running your advertisement over that odd for that particular match day then you must be getting a more than 4 crores of audience over there right so why you'll be able to target that 4.5 crores of audience because you are reaching on the right platform on the right time so this is something ott has really in demand traditional televisions right now like completely dead people don't watch television since today's time they more of more of the time they watch ott and yes that's how where the audience is where the marketing is so if the audience is on ott then people do the marketing on ott similarly native ads native ads are something i have shown you one thing when i was talking about times of india this particular uh, like let's say article So when you guys reading this article, right? There are the advertisement like this. There are the advertisement like this, right? Solar rock to uh, rooftop lagway, and you have all these type of different advert advertisements available here. But along with these advertisements, you will also see something different, which you might be not aware, which you consider is a part of a website, but it is not a part of a website. okay so now you guys can see when you are looking out any particular article when you reading any content on internet on any particular website right you must see this type of advertisement coming over there 
on their blog where people are mistaking it is a part of a content of the website but these are actually not the part of a website these are not the content of the same website these are the advertisements or these are the like content actually reaching to the people through native advertising these native advertising actually help you to boost your traffic on the content so let's say if i am reading something news related alerts here right so i have an opportunity to get my tabula ads here where it is talking about the similar type of or native advertisement ad there are various company who do this tabula is one of them they are the like partner of this ad through the tabula platform you can run the native ads and there are other platform as well that you will be learning in the program that how to use native advertisement to boost your reach of the content right so this type of advertisement which are coming under the content which is not actually the content of a website they are the native ads what are the benefit of this native ads the benefit of this native ad is basically it can bring you the more reach to your content how it can bring more reach to your content let's say there is a website which has a millions of traffic but your website doesn't have a millions of traffic so if i am writing something on my website i am writing one article on my website will they reach to millions of people yes or no yes or no if i have written one article on my website which does not have millions of users or visitors will my content reach to millions people through my website no right but let's say there is a another website which has more than millions of users their content their every article is reaching to millions people and on their article where they are talking about the same product or services which i want to promote and i run this native advertisement over there will it reach to millions of people then if my ads is available or my content is showing on their article which has reached to millions people right so now times of india is one of the article where millions of people are reading their news on daily basis so if under that when the news is ending and then my article's content is available people can click on that then they can read the my content on my website by reaching through times of india and yes it can give me a better reach it can increase the reach of my content as well and it is very cheap so it is not so expensive that you should be worried about it is cheaper advertisement so it can bring you good number of acceptance good number of reach because you are showing it to the relevant people who are actually reading something related thing but yes you will be going ahead with a higher reach on your content okay reach is high so yes so we can put ad on someone else website to get reach and that is native advertising yes of course it is it is not a display advertising display something where you just showing in terms of ad but native is something which is coming as a part of the content which is not considering as a ad which people consider or the reader consider as a part of the content right and this is something in very demand and let's say if you are someone who is looking out for a higher package in the industry where big companies or like let's say medium and large organization will hire you they look for these aspects that whether you will be able to help them in their e-commerce business so e-commerce landscape and strategy if you are someone who want to start your own drop shipping business so how to start your own drop shipping business we will be helping you how to create a lead funnel lead funnels means how to increase leads to visitor visitors to sales like or visitor to lead or leads to sales that kind of conversion with the help of funnel that will be there ai driven growth hacking so ai is something which is really popular in demand today's time and ai we will be helping you to understand how to create predictive analysis how to work ai based youtube channel how you can run it how to do ai based keyword research how to work with chat gpt for market research and all these things will be taught to you to just make you more productive in less time so there are people and you can do the fair comparison between them 
if someone is using the chat gpd or let's say someone is using the ai related different tools that we are teaching they can do the same task in the less number of time how they can do it by using their ai skill so how it boosted because let's say if i am someone i need to create social media posts for my social media channel and it will be taking me every day 2 hours or 1 hours to create daily posts right but using the ai i can generate 30 posts for 30 days in just 10 minutes so if i investing 2 hours every day in 30 days i will be investing 60 hours so rather investing 60 hours on a business as a business person if i am giving or having a person in my team who is ai tooled so i can ask that person to work with the help of ai and that can help me to generate 30 days of social media content within just 10 minutes so that person is saving me like 59 hours right and in those 59 hours i can demand something else from the person so this is something the power of ai or the people who are using the ai along with this you have orm online reputation management how to work with the different things inbound marketing strategy creating an environment of generating better number of conversions affiliate marketing is again for all the people who want to increase a passive income who want to use the maximum resources of their like you can say company's website and to work with closely or increase their traffic with the help of other websites so yes affiliate marketing is one of the things integrated digital marketing is something which really help you to create 360 degree plan of a business roi based plan so let's say if you are joining a company as a digital marketer and they are giving you a budget let's say your budget is 1 lakh rupees every month so how to use that 1 lakh rupee because right now you are not someone who can use that 1 lakh rupee budget because you will be very much confused how to use it right because let's say you are learning just the tools if you just learn the tools seo social media all these things then you will be working as an executive you cannot work as a strategist but if you're learning the creating roi based plan that you can work as a strategist as well right then you have a media buying then you have a otd influencer marketing native advertising and international freelancing so all these topics are something which will make you different than the other standard people in digital marketing and the people who are using all these skills they have a standard salary package about six to eight lakh in the industry and six to eight lakh is something which is like help will be when you are doing the job but if you want you also have an opportunity to set up your own e-commerce business in this particular program you also have opportunity to set up your like passive income sources with affiliate marketing and google adsense and yes definitely you are someone who will be able to do the international freelancing capturing the customers from across the world right so this program is basically for 74000 plus gst which total comes to 88000 rupees and that is something you will be work, working on seven months that is a seven month duration this one is basically four months so three months extra you will be investing in this particular program it is eligible for yes freshers as well and you if you are someone experienced in the industry and you want to shift or switch something with a good package like six six to eight then yes definitely you can consider this particular skill and most of the job in this uh, like after this program they are related to you can say middle management right or it is not top management it is not an executive it is just kind of a management or middle management kind of position you will be able to grab after just investing some time in digital but if you have all these skills now the third program we have a leadership program so in this leadership program you have everything of expert everything of masters along with this you have these three modules which will be covered separately and these three modules is only required for the top management or the leadership position why because it is something which is you are creating the complete dashboard of the business that how to create if you see the topic cover in this how to visualize the complete data of the organization and marketing that is happening and based on that taking the decisions to further plan of action then creating the dashboard to represent to your fund investors or to let's say to your company owners founders ceos and all right and then how to analyzing the marketing data and taking the data driven decisions all this you will learn in this 
Secondly, you will learn how to run a full-fledged digital marketing agency, how to set it up. We will be teaching you in this. And then at the end, you have a management strategy model. So here you will be learning about financial terms as well, all the required management terms. I hope all of you have seen the Shark Tank. How many of you people have seen the Shark Tank? Can I have a quick reply from all of you? How many of you have seen the Shark Tank? Right, so when you see in Shark Tank, there is some entrepreneur came and or they talk about their finances, their costs, their marketing burns, their EBITDA, their net revenue, their all these things. How they know about all these things? They themselves not doing it. They have CAs, they have investment managers who will be actually creating those deck and pitches for them. So those deck and pitches, they are getting created by some other people who are analyzing their business and creating that kind of stat, stat which they are mentioning there, right? But you yourself able to evaluate how when you learn all these things, financial statement analysis, dashboard preparation, marketing budget preparation, marketing performance analysis, and your cost benefit analysis. So you can understand all the financial of your organization as a leader, it is required. Because if you are just investing as a marketer and your company is not growing, definitely you will be in trouble. So if you want to grow, you have to take care of your finances as well. So this is what you will be learning here in leadership program. So the fees for this leadership program is 1,49,000 plus GST. For master program, the fees is 74,900 plus GST. And for the export program, the fees is 34900 per GST. Every program has a different opportunity. You will be able to get, right? As I said, if you just need a job in the industry, four to five lakhs, go with this. Higher packages in the industry, different than the, like beat the competition, different than the stand out in the industry, start something your own, do the freelancing, generate the passive income. All those can be done with master certification. And leadership program can help you to work over the top of the management if you are working to handle, manage expenses and your marketing models and everything you can create if you are working over the leadership program. So I just want to get a quick reply from all of you. What do you think which program most suitable for you guys? Simply write expert, master or leadership. So whatever it is, just write that one. Roland is saying for leadership. Okay. Mehak is for masters. Can I work as a data analyst if I complete the leadership? Manbir cannot work as a data analyst exactly. Data analyst people have a different job profile. But yes, you can do your marketing analysis with the help of this Power BI creating a dashboard or something. And by understanding it more suitable way or you can also make people understand what your organization is doing. Right, you can und make people understand what your marketing is completely doing. So let's say if I am working as a CMO, Chief Marketing Officer, and I am showing it to my, let's say, CEOs, founders, investors, that what my whole things are happening. I don't sh share with them the different sheets. I don't share them with the different data. I share or present them a particular dashboard, which is representing all the things in terms of graph. So how to create those dashboards will be the part of data analytics, which we are covering in this with the help of Power BI. So if I'll show you that how Power BI charts look like, you can see it here. Right, so when someone create the Power BI reports, it looks like this, Power BI dashboard. Right, so here you can show people about different aspects. Right, so what is the number of traffic, how many like conversion, from which city the conversions are happening. So in terms of a beautiful graphic representation of your data is going to be the Power BI, right? So this is what you will be learning along with the other finance in related things. Can you take few offline sessions for certified course and for others? See, you don't require it, Mehek. Trust me, it's way better than any offline classes. Why? Because the people teaching you, they are expert and they know what they are teaching and they make you the person who can do all these things. So if you want a practical hands-on experience on everything, trust on this part, you will have more experience, more practical experience than any other training in our program. Why? I have not shown you yet. I guess I have not covered those things. I just told you about the topics covered. I have not 
covered, what additional things we will be giving you. So here you have a paid internship for two months. This paid internship with us, with IM skills. And what we are doing, we are helping you to work on the different tools. So here are the tools for every topic, for SEO, for WordPress, for SCM, or for your email marketing. You will be running or doing a hands-on experience over all these tools. You simply also can see it here. Let's say I'm coming on WordPress website. When I'm teaching WordPress website, first I teach people about these techniques. Once I teach these techniques, I show them by doing it myself in my class. Every step I show them personally by doing it. Right? I use all these tools to demonstrate them. And after doing it, I give them the assignment and project that they create their own website. And that is what you have seen. That is what you have seen when I was talking about like uh, my website assignment that people shared with me. So they created their website, they have sent it to me, and I give them the feedback. Right, this is how it works. Similarly, when you are attending SEO, so trainer is first teaching you all these topics of SEO, which is complete in-depth SEO. Then you will be covering all these tools of SEO, right, these ones. Trainer is himself showing you how to use these tools. And once these tools taught by the trainers, then the person will give you an assignment to work with these tools and create a particular or audit an SPO report or create an SPO report after applying all their skills. Right? So you will get assignments or projects after every particular module that you will be learning here. So practical is very much. Then you have a case studies of different brands that you will be learning with. Then you have your, let's say at the end, internship opportunity. So UDM internship with course they call SCM, so SCO internship with IM skills, then this one content writing internship with tech. So we have a various companies. It is not only one or two companies which are there. There are multiple companies every time coming to us for asking about hiring our intern, hiring the student from us as an employee. So we have our job portal available here. You simply can come over here at digital marketing. Then you simply can see digital marketing executive Gurga then you have a Greater Delhi, then you have this New Delhi, Greater Kolkata, anywhere, right? These are the remote ones, right? Then you have a Goregao West, then you have a Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, Noida, Chandigarh, Pune, 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 Bangalore, right? So various jobs are available here. Apart from this job portal, we also have our 500 plus hiring partners. So these hiring partners are someone who are already working with us they share with us the different requirement in their location. So somebody, let's say, from uh, Pune, or let's say somebody is from UAE, or somebody is from Australia. So what we can do, we can connect them with the placement partners available or hiring partners available in their countries, right? So they can help them with the local job opportunity available in their location. So this, we have 500 plus hiring partners. Along with this, as I told you one thing, we are giving you the lifetime access. So today you learn everything. After learning everything, what more you can expect? We can help you to learn the lifetime. We will give you the access so that you come again, pay once, enjoy lifetime access. So today you joined us our program, but after two years, five years, ten years, you again want to upskill yourself, you simply can log in into your LMS account and can learn it without paying anything else extra amount. Right? See guys, Mehak is asking about job assistance as job guarantee. How many of you think there is a term called job guarantee in the market? How many of you think like this? Yes or no? Manbir is saying no. Mehak is saying no. Rollin is saying no. I want everyone to reply on this. This is really important to understand guys. Okay, so now I'm just saying two things. There is job assistance. There is job guarantee. Job guarantee is something which people understood something else. What usually people understand with job guarantee? They understand whether I learn or not, whether I perform or not, whether I like, let's say, applying for the jobs or not. It's institution responsibility. They take the money from me and now they will place me whether I have a will or no to work as an employee. That's what they think about job guarantee. 
but job guarantee is something different something different means we help you with first learning the skill after learning the skill we help you with preparing you for job interviews after preparing you for job interviews after helping you to build a resume after helping you to prepare for interviews we will be giving you the job opportunity we help you to apply to those job opportunity so once you apply to those job opportunity you are going there and getting interviewed and that interview is something which is the most important part and which is completely depend upon you so if you able to speak in the interview or if you able to show your result in the interview then your job is confirmed and you will be let's say if you made employer confident if you able to pass on your confidence to the employer that i am the right person for your company or for your requirement you will get selected and if you unable to pass that confidence then you will not be selected right so as a institute we can prepare you we can make you ready for job we can provide you the job opportunities and we can take the feedback from employers and can give it to you why you have not selected but yes rest process the that particular moment when you are sitting in the interview that totally in your hands and that totally you have to clear right so nobody in the industry can give you this guarantee that you learn my course or no i will give you the job if the person is saying you this then trust this is a red alert what about internship is it for everyone yes spo internship with im skills for everyone other internship with other companies they required a interview process you have to give a interview and then you will be selected is there exam after every module there are quizzes after every module but the exam will be at the end of the course where you can give the different exam of google ads hubspot scm your uh, meta all these exam and then can get the certification i am skills course completion certificate will also be received once you complete all the quizzes right okay so that is something that we will be helping you with to become a effective digital marketer in the industry and it is purely a practical course so all these classes you will be attending every time you will be doing a practical hands on experience so i just want to get a like uh, i believe previously my discussion yet not ever i just want to understand which batch is most suitable for you can you just please mention it again guys which one the expert program master program or leadership program can you just write down in the chat box now because i have taken the other question so i guess things got distracted so again perfect mag is saying for master manbi is saying for leadership shagil is for masters amala is for masters rolan is for leadership okay can we get remote job in this of course yes now we have two different batch available with us one of the batch is weekdays where your classes will be on every tuesday and thursday 8 to 9:30 right tuesday thursday evening 8 to 9:30 on like indian timing indian standard timing so it will be starting from 30th of july second batch we have is saturday batch classes will be on 20 7 july starting and the timing will be 10 am to 1 pm in the morning saturday it's again ist time right so these two batches are there nivedita is for masters okay perfect anybody who is not yet replied for this like master leadership or any other program if they are planning for this yes it will be twice a week for one and a half hour in weekdays and it will be 3 hours on the saturdays so if you choose saturdays it will be 3 hours and if you choose weekdays it is 1.5 hours on tuesday 1.5 hours for thursday want finish as soon as possible fastest pathway possible see my advice to you guys just go with the regular pace but yes if you are free if you able to devote let's say if you are going with the regular pace then with regular pace you have to devote somewhere around 6 let's say 3 hours for classes and then 6 to 8 hours for the practical right so let's say 
five hours, let's say minimum we say five hours for practical every week and three hours for the classes. So eight hours. If you can give eight hours a week, you can do this course on a regular pace. But if you can give approximately 15 to 16 hours a week, if you are comfortable in this, then you definitely can go ahead and can do it in shorter duration by attending Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, both the classes. You will be attending two different batches. In Tuesday, Thursday, you will be att attending, let's say, Google Ads. So in Saturday, you will be attending social media. So this is how you simply able to complete both of the courses or both of the program within just like limited time. Yes, up to, up, uh, absolutely, Mehik. That is the number of parts you will be learning in this. Along with this, as I said, it is a two month of paid internship where you also have some classes during your internship and the best part, these internships are remote internships and these internships are flexible internships. So you don't have to give nine to five or you don't have to give, let's say Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday on this internship or you don't have to even come anywhere. You will be doing all this from your place and after your office hours or on your Sundays, on your Saturdays, you can invest one or two hours every day and can complete this internship. So you don't have to, you don't have to like make any changes in your current schedule, even if you want to do internship and it is, can be done by any person from anywhere. For beginners like which course suits me, depend upon objective. As a beginner, you just want to get a job of three to five likes or four to five likes in the industry, or you just want to go ahead with the more specialization with better exposure in the industry bed and to have a better package in the industry, it depends, right? So it depends totally on your requirement. So if your requirement is to just make yourself better, then I guess, yes, if you want to just stand out, let's say there are 10 people coming in interview, everyone knows social media, Google ads or all these things, but what people doesn't know, they don't know about AI tools, they don't know about native ads, they don't know about e-commerce industry, they don't know about creating or like affiliate marketing and AdSense, they don't know about like your OTT ads. So if you are coming with all these skills, you can be a different aspect or you will be stand out in your competition. So let's say if 10 people are sitting there for interview, maybe one or two are the one who are tooled with this. So you're cutting out the competition for the higher package. What is the minimum payment of internship for second course and company time? See, in this expert course, you can get up to internship for 6,000 rupees, which is a fixed stipend for two months, right? And then AI and master certification internship, you have this 6,000 rupee internship guaranteed. But apart from this, you also have a eligibility to go ahead and work with other internship where you can get up to 20,000 rupees. Same with the leadership program. What if miss out any class or any class backup? Yes, all the classes will be backed up. So don't worry about it by any chance if you guys miss any class. So there are two opportunities. The first opportunity is you can check out your recording of the class and can cover it up. And the another opportunity is you can write an email to us that yes, I have missed this session or I want to reattend this module in future. Kindly add my name to the list. Whenever this social media happening again, just add me in this. So we add you into the upcoming batch of social media to reattend the same classes which you missed, right? So these two opportunities are there for missing lectures. Right, so guys, now I have one specific opportunity for all of you. And that specific opportunity is a surprise, basically. And in that surprise, I will be helping you guys to register with this particular program with some good incentive and that in incentive or that discount is you will be able to get a 10% discount over any courses that you are enrolling for today, right? So if you just want to go ahead and take the 10% discount, you just have to use this coupon that is going to be 25th July demo. People using this coupon code, they're able to grab a 10% discount on any courses they are enrolling, whether it is expert, master, or leadership, right? If this coupon code is valid only for today, it will not be available or applicable tomorrow. So make sure if you just want to save little extra, you can just go ahead and can enroll on this.
is there any other queries and question you guys have simply ask me it's 74900 plus gst this is the fees you can simply come over this page and can check it out this is our course page so the fees if i am talking about this is the one for masters this is the fee right franchly definitely yes you have two different options for emi one option using the credit card if you owning any indian bank credit card so on indian bank credit card you will be getting three installments and these three installments will be done through credit card and whatever the interest amount so let's suppose this bank is charging you 2500 rupees as a interest on your master's course so that interest will be waived off we give you that interest back on your credit card second emi option is to bajaj loan so if anybody is aware about bajaj finster so they have a bajaj loan facility and that bajaj card is also like launched by them so if you want you can also use your bajaj card to pay the fees and get divided into six emis right or if you want you can also apply through us by just sharing your some of the document and that is a no cost loan opportunity so you don't have to pay any interest or any additional fees you will be paying the same amount in six emis using the bajaj and if you want credit card emis you also can use it in the same way by just paying through your credit card and get emis done how much gst gst is 18% which is quite natural for every particular program right so it is 18% gst so total will be 88382 rupees okay so i hope guys all uh, i am all done for this particular session if you still have any particular queries doubt questions you still can ask me or we can end this session by just getting your feedback on the session how was the session so can i have a quick feedback from you guys how was the session and then if you don't have a question we guys can complete this thank you mahek and trust me you will have a similar or even better experience in all the sessions so it is nowhere like you will be getting some only ppt reading kind of session thanks mate rolan very informative thank you thanks rolan Ma manveer thanks manveer amala thanks amala so perfect guys looking forward to all of you to see in the training program i may i have a, at extra leave now we'll get in touch thank you okay yeah sure sure i have to leave now we'll get in touch sure manbeet looking forward to see you in the program okay guys thanks thanks for your time that you have given in this particular session looking forward to see you all in the training program go ahead complete your enrollment and take the maximum use of like today's discount code which i have shared with you guys 25th july demo that's it right so good luck have a great day goodbye guys